Welcome back to Smokehouse Meats Barbecue Catering. Uh, today is January 22nd, 2013. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, today we're going to do a recipe that has to do with a little bit of leftovers but some fresh ingredients to go with it as well. And what I'm going to make today is a rib tip chicken chili. You're going to love it. It's very good. Uh, let me just say one thing. I was just watching uh, television and I was watching Andrew Zimmern who does this bizarre food thing and he was eating today he was eating the live heart of a tuna fish that he had just caught and you know I, I have a hard time seeing that but to each his own I guarantee you that this food is going to be cooked well you're going to enjoy it you're not going to have to question what it is my hats off to Andrew Zimmer for being able to do that kind of stuff, but that's not what we do at Smokehouse Meats Barbecue Catering. What we do here at Smokehouse Meats Barbecue Catering simply has to do with giving you good ingredients, fast food that can get cooked that you do that you don't have to go out to do, or you can call me and I can do it for you, of course. Remember that. Uh, but for the most part, it is just some fast ingredients that you may have some leftovers that you can do. So this is a chili recipe that's going to involve some leftover smoked chicken that I have, okay, along with some fresh rib tips that I'm going to put on the grill. Now this, rib, this recipe takes a little while because uh, the rib tips have to actually smoke for a little bit. But on my smoker, I already have a big skillet that's going on out there. Uh, and I've got it on the grill mode, so the temperature is a little higher. So I'm going to take these these rib these cut up rib tips that you see here, and I'm going to put them on the smoker in the kettle. And actually, it's a it's a uh, a Dutch oven type thing that I'm going to put it in. And within there, uh, there's some olive oil in there already, and I'm going to saute this and get this uh, going. Then eventually, what we're going to do is add our other ingredients. So real quickly, the ingredients for this that go with this, of course. You're going to need some chili uh, beans for it, but what I use is kidney beans. You don't have to use kidney beans. You can use whatever beans that suit you, of course, all right? Uh, I also have some fresh ginger, if you love ginger, okay? I have some fresh garlic that's going to go in there as well, all right? I have some thyme and rosemary that's going to go in there that I've combined, but it's fresh as well. And I have some chopped onions. Right here I have my smoked chicken and as you can see I've gone through and I've cut up a lot of it already but I still need to dice up a little more uh, that goes on there. Okay, You want to make sure if you're using any leftover uh, chicken that you go through and take out any bones or any skin that you might see in there because you don't necessarily want that in your recipe. So like here's the wishbone right here. Wishing everybody a happy 2013. I got the big piece and the little piece, so both of them count. All right. All right, so I'm just taking out a few bones here as well. And you're able to find that once you start actually chopping up the chicken, you'll be able to see what's in there. This was a combination of a breast and back uh, meat that was left over from the actual smoked chicken that I did. All right, so I'm just going through, dicing it up a little bit. You want to get it as fine as you possibly can. Uh, not, but not too far because you want to leave some chunk in it as well. All right, all right, with the bone, all right, some skin. And I think that might about do it as far as what's in there. But you just got to be careful and get all that stuff out of there, especially of course if you're feeding this recipe to children. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do, since I've mentioned children, is because uh, I want to do something a little different with these, this, I'm going to bump up the recipe a little bit and put a little hotness into it, a little heat into it. So what I'm going to do is add some heat to it, I'm going to add some red chili flake pepper to it, and I'll let you know how that goes. And we'll be right back. Stay there. Okay, so I've taken that... Uh rib tips that we have and I put them in a uh, smoker put them in the smoker in a pan as you can see so they're on the pan smoking but right now what we're going to do also is add all the ingredients to go with that so we've got uh, our smokehouse seasoning there we've got some onion we've got some garlic 
we've got some, sorry about that, some ginger, and we've got some rosemary and thyme. And we're going to let that cook in there for a few minutes. And this is how the rest of the recipe will end up going. Okay. All right. We'll be back. About half an hour. Peace out. Okay, we're ready to continue to build on this. Um, when I open this up, you should see that the uh, rib tips have uh, actually rendered quite a bit. They should be a little brown uh, and take on that smoky uh, flavor there. See that right there? So they're actually ready to go. So what we're going to do is add in next, uh, we're going to add in our kidney beans that we're going to use. Add those right in. Alright. Move that way. Next we're going to add in our diced tomatoes. All right, a couple of cans of diced tomatoes, actually. All right. We'll add in our chili seasoning. And it's commercial. All right. All right. All right, now we're going to take that and mix that up a little bit. One more thing we're going to add into it before we just let it cook for a couple of hours now. And the last thing we're going to put into it is our chicken. Alright, so. I'm going to grab our chicken. And we take that and we're just going to put that in there. Okay, so the last thing we put in is the chicken that goes on top, and that's the smoked chicken that we had. Alright, so I'm just going to take that and mix that up a little bit. Alright, so we're going to let that cook for a little bit, about another two hours maybe somewhere around in that area and uh, it's going to be good so this is smokehouse meats uh, rib tip and smoked chicken chili okay welcome to the final phase of our chili recipe this is smokehouse meats barbecue catering as you can see it's uh, dawn or I'm sorry not dawn but dusk here in uh, Aurora Colorado the sun is going down and uh, we're going to work on the last part of our recipe here. I'm going to lift the smoker here. You can see smoke is coming off and look at that. You can see the chili just bubbling away there. Smells delicious. Smells delicious. Okay. It's actually done. We're going to add one more thing to it from this point in time. We're going to add a little brown sugar to it. I'll sweeten it up just a bit. Okay, just a little more. Stir that around a little bit. And we're going to let that cook for about another 20 minutes or so. And we'll be done with it. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen the Smokehouse Meats Barbecue Catering rib tip and chicken chili topped with a little cheese if you put a little jalapeno on that it's going to be great it's a little spicy but that's the way it's supposed to do it's supposed to be I should say and uh, www.smokehousemeats.webstarts.com 720-436-3567